Chris Martin. Oh, you're kidding me. September. Kyle Wait. Lafferty. Are you no! joking me? Is that right? I know. Is that right? Uh, anybody else? Leash, was it? Like, that is one of the most stupid questions. <laughs> Darius Vassell? Seriously, you all need to just stay quiet. This is getting really annoying doing this quiz. What is going on here? <laughs> 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 Welcome, 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 welcome along to the shoddy segment on Irish Radio. It's the scintillating, it's the stupefying, it's the splendido crappy quiz. Every Friday we pit three of Team Off The Ball up against one another in a quiz of sporting factoids at the end of the week. Allow me to welcome tonight's contestants. You impressed? What? The levels of concentration there. <laughs> no one used to do speech and drama in primary school. You'd have to stand up no. in front of people. Did you ever do speech and no. drama? No. What? Well, it goes to, to show. Did you go to private school? Does. No. <laughs> I got the grade eight. I can't remember what I got to. Find out. How many grades were there? It's a lot. Yeah. Well, Four. I'd say it's <laughs> never ending. Grade. They just keep taking the cash off you for as long as you'll go. Oh, it was extracurricular? <laughs> yeah, yeah. All oh, right. Yeah, you go to feshes. So it you? was essentially a bit oh, of a I'm not sure about feshes. Is that what they were called? Were not called feshes? She meant to do my speech and drama exam, and uh, that was it, really. Was that a lot of... What, we, what, what did that involve? There was, there was also, like, separate, like... That we had good elocution. Yeah, exactly. You, you kind of good. <laughs> you, you would kind of notice uh, from yeah. myself and Nathan here that uh, we, we will be speech and drama kids. Are you any good? Oh, excellent. Yeah. What did he win at the fish? Little trophy, I'm sure. First place. Of course. So what do you do? Do you get up on a stage and yeah. say a, like tell say a poem? A poem. Yeah. That you'd write yourself or no, no, no. <laughs> that you'd memorise. No, but I did the Lake of the Village free once. Uh, made of wattle and daub and all that mm -hmm. malarkey. What was? What is wattle and daub? I often wonder that. Nobody knows. It just sounds nice. That's what like poetry is, isn't it? It's nonsense, Lake but it Island just sounds Ventry, nice. Yeah. And the key was to speak slowly. Yes. It was like doing your driving test, actually, uh, speech and drama. Just slow so down. So the poem could be ten lines, but it would take you about eight minutes to read it. Mm -hmm. um, do you like see people that you beat in that fish around the place these days and say, yeah, screw all you? All the time, all the time, yeah. Rubbing their faces. Was your driving test analogy empty there or had you more? No, that was pretty much it. it? The oh, first okay. thing that came to mind. If anybody hasn't done their driving test, slow down, you will pass. Why, have you done your driving test? I have, yeah, of course I have. Have you passed? Yeah. What Eight do you mean, ago. of course? You did it about three months ago, didn't you? About uh, seven months ago at this stage, yeah. yeah. What's crack in Japan if they didn't self-driving cars yet? They have, what they have is they have uh, Mario Kart cars, where you can actually take them out on the actual roads. What? Yeah, and I didn't find out about this till afterwards. Oh, what? Dear. You can actually go up to a place and they have like a selection of Mario Kart cars. You actually get dressed up as Luigi or somebody, <laughs> <laughs> get out in the cars <laughs> and drive through like Shibuya Crossing. Me? Yeah. Luigi. Yeah? Yeah, 100%. So they, so You're telling me we've had to sit through <laughs> two months of you chasing cats when we could have had you driving around in an actual Mario Kart car through the middle of Tokyo. I how we would have filmed that. Trying to yeah. avoid a banana. Yeah, that's the thing. You should have seen my high-tech setup there. My phone on my uh, crap little tripod would have oh. uh, been good on the... Actually, might have been good. Can I go back? Yeah, sure. Go back and redo it and, yeah. uh, and do that. Okay, thank you very much. Tonight's contestants, let's welcome them. Our first contestant tonight is Ireland's best Mick McCarthy impressionist. If you close your eyes and listen to his voice, you can almost hear the disdain from Matt Doherty. Will he possibly grace us with the impression on air today? Time will tell. Give it up for Phil the Power Egan. All right. <laughs> hey, we got it. <laughs> Even just a little mumble like that makes my day. Could you understand it, yeah? I could, yeah. Yeah, just I didn't go to speech and drama, so... <laughs> <laughs> In the middle seat is a man who certainly has not ventured west of the Shannon since the revelations from Mayo over the past few weeks. He's heard leaks of information, he's shared those leaks, and there is no way he can now safely return home. No, it has nothing to do with the Mayo County Board. He's just found out that Ballyhonas is even more of a shithole than the last time he went home. Oh, Give it up for the... Oh, <laughs> Oh, wow. <laughs> Give it up for Whoa. the beast of Ballyhon is Nathan Nate Dog Murphy. That took an unexpected twist. I would bloody hell. I mean, outside of the How dare you? Gravity How of the dare you? there. You're not, you, that's actually misleading now. You shouldn't that title should now be gone. You should forgo that title. Why? You have no longer have any links to Ballyhon. Well, that's true. It should be the Beast of Galway or whatever your website is now. <laughs> <laughs> the Gruffalo. The Gruffalo. Somehow that sounds even creepier. <laughs> you apologize to the people of Ballyhonas right now. Are you actually... Do you, I don't know if you know this, because you're not a great driver, so you have to get the train everywhere. So I think you'll find when you went to Casa Bar, you probably stopped in Ballyhonas on the way. We did. Well, next time, you won't be going past Ballyhonas. You'll Why? be dragged out, <laughs> thrown under oh, the train, a... and rightly so, brought down to the abattoir, hung up like one of the cattle that I used to have to carry back in the day, and just dragged along, and let's see what happens to you. 
And it's like I thought, I, I thought you were going to refer to that dark alley you, you, you used to speak, you speak about in, in Ballyhawness. Remember that came up one time? No? Oh, Where the beast of Ballyhawness <laughs> originated? <laughs> uh, not the abattoir. Oh. Um, Apologise! That is. Are you, do you actually have no links left to Ballyhawness? No, or what's the story? I'm Nordist there. Oh, well, I am sorry. Is your heart not in Ballyhawness? It is always. You can see why he's in the beef there. factory. In the beef factory. Mm. The hard yard. Mm. You know? Well, um, I'm sorry for hurting your feelings, everybody. Oh, just I don't, I don't, it's just honest. on the script. I just read out what's in front of me. You here. write the script. Uh, our, final don't deny it. our final contestant today. <laughs> I can't believe that. Our final contestant today is known That's as. The sort of crap I'd be listening to now over Christmas. You didn't, you didn't hammer that lad hard enough. He, he just said Benny Hollis was a shithole live on national radio. It's, a, it's actually more to do with you finding it out, to be honest with you. I just, I just read what's in front of me, to be honest, but um, I'll pass on your feedback. <laughs> our, our final Good contestant self. today is known as Dublin's most notorious coffee snob. He will judge you by the beverage you sip, diss the foam you consume, and humiliate you for choosing a cappuccino instead of a flat white. Yesterday, a friend of mine, and this is a true story, served this contestant in his coffee shop. I felt a sense of dread. How would this contestant embarrass my friend? I texted him, and he texted back to say, yeah, he seemed like a nice guy. The regime is fear. Oh, fear is over. Adrian Barry, you're very welcome. You're not a coffee snob, it turns out. And we've got uh, first-hand information. You know what? Oh, just what what's your friend's name? Ryan. Ryan. Where does he work? I, in Coffee, coffee Angel. Angel on, what's the street? Um, just off Dawson Street. Um, Nassau Street. No. <laughs> um, Molesworth Street. Is this part of the quiz? <laughs> Anyway, we'll figure it out. Right. Um, he he. So I, this was the second time I went into this coffee shop in the last couple of weeks. Why? It was a great find because it was on it. I was on my way to a meeting in its locale, okay. and I found it very handy. And actually, the first time I went in, I've a, I, I am a bit of a coffee snob. I don't mind admitting that. And I have a bit of an issue, particularly with coffee shops who, particularly specialise in coffee, who burn the milk. Oh my god! It, and it it's it might be my greatest life, and I appreciate that it's a bit of a first world issue, but a greatest life. Burnt uh, my mouth bug, there the other day. Down. Like, I was I was tempted it's to outrageous. turn around in the car and drive back and go. You have one job. Yeah. Don't burn the coffee. Who how, burn, how did you manage to get through your day? Coffee shops who burn milk. With a sore mouth. Anyway, really don't know how you do. Ryan it. went in last week how into Coffee you know Angel. Friend? I didn't know at that time. Okay. This, is the, this is actually the whole point of it. Um, went into the coffee shop. Got behind the counter, took my order, flat white. Of what course. temperature would you like your coffee? Would you like your, your milk? Literally, I've never been asked this before. So proud. I had to take the time to say, listen, fair play to you. I've never been asked that before, and I'd like it somewhere in the middle, please. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, I don't know what. what <laughs> I actually what, don't know what to say. What are the choices here? Um, and he said, oh, my boss isn't over there. If you wouldn't mind on the way out, just sort of hollering over that how great I was. And I said, I'll, I'll absolutely oblige you with that. No, no right, I didn't. So didn't it turned out. Why not? Got about it when oh, you ruined it yeah. from. <laughs> but um, yeah, Coffee Angel, you say? Coffee Angel on something street off. Oh, right. I'm gonna street. go there and figure out what my preferred. It's up to you. Know what the new yeah. Teddy's is in town? What's Teddy's? Ah, ice Teddy's cream. ice cream. Yeah. You know that. No. You know? A lot of dairy in ice. Uh, cream. Between Grafton Street and Dawson Street. Yeah, well, that was a very convoluted story, Adrian. Thank you very much. It's pretty boring, boring as well, but like, look, St. Yeah. Anne Street. No, I think it's one Get into the questions. It's all, it's, Street. This is all on the cutting room floor. As ever, the format is the classic crappy <laughs> quiz. Street, four questions each. After four rounds, the trivia equivalent of taking every game as it comes is up. That's the rapid fire round. You can podcast the crappy quiz on offtheball.com or the goal out app. Give us five out of five, even if that doesn't represent your actual opinion. And please send any questions you have via postcard to crappy quiz quizmaster off the ball towers, Marconi House, Diggs Lane, Dublin 2. We did get post. This week, I'm after losing the post, so if you could resend it in, you know who you are, please do. The problem is, it was handwritten post, so you're just going to have to write it all up again instead of just printing off the second one, so sorry about that. Uh, round one is the boring questions round, never multiple choice. Question one for you, Phil. Name all of Ireland's goal scorers in the Euro 2020 qualifying campaign. Uh, Chipolina. Oh, very good, yeah. I, 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 didn't, you didn't even need to name that one. Uh, Jeff Hendrick. Mm-hmm. Matt Doherty, mm -hmm. Shane Duffy, mm -hmm. David McGoldrick. Correct. Oh, there's two more. Yeah. Okay, so uh, Denmark game. I've done the two Denmark games. Switzerland, McGoldrick, yeah. Georgia, Connor Heron. Correct, one more. And Robbie Brady. Correct. That is impressive. Ah, come on. Very good. I'm, I'm impressed by that. Ah, come on. But you got it. I mean, you're going to say you would, anyway. Question one for Nathan. Who was top scorer overall across all nations in Ireland's qualifying group? 
Player or country? Player, sorry. Oof. In our group? In our group. That's a good question. Was well, Irish? I know. <laughs> Tripolina. <laughs> Christian Eriksen. Correct. Christian Five Erickson. goals. Adrian. Easy. Troy Parrott's future as a Tottenham player now lies in the hands of Jose Mourinho, but can you tell me who he made his professional competitive debut against? <laughs> We're hearing laughter. I don't know if we can hear that laughter from the uh, production box. It's <laughs> not that difficult. He's only played one game. So he played, made his competitive international debut? No, uh, professional debut. His professional club debut? Yes. For Tottenham against? For Tottenham against. Rochdale? No, Colchester. Bollocks. <laughs> yeah, I played Rochdale. <laughs> Ryan Barry Murphy. Round that two. Was, to be fair, of the three of them, and like everyone was tough, that was the hardest. Ah, I'm, I'm, I'm was... going to be saying about it. I'm not, I'm not outraged. <laughs> We've that, talked I'll about that Colchester calmly, game for well, months. I'll just calmly make the point that that was probably the toughest question of the bunch. It's amazing, it's amazing how tepid milk can keep you going for a full 24 hours <laughs> in terms of your relaxation. <laughs> round two is the No Way Jose round, with Jose Mourinho's return to Premier League management confirmed yesterday. This round will test your knowledge on his career in football to date. Phil, which team has Jose Mourinho chalked up his biggest win percentage as manager for? I'm going to say Inter Milan. No, Real Madrid. 71.9% of a win rate. Nathan, Jose famously worked with Bobby Robson, but his first job at Robson was as his translator at which club? I hear. Ah, come on. Barcelona. No. Porto. No. What is it, Adrian? I was going to say Barcelona. <laughs> no. Uh, sporting. All right, I'll take that back. I'll take it. Yeah. <laughs> I'd love that. Question two for Adrian. Uh, <laughs> all big Jose fans here. Who said the following about Jose Mourinho? In the past, he was a little man in many circumstances. He's a little man in the present, and for sure he will be a little man in the future. I consider him a little man, and I consider him a man with a very low profile. I mean, there's one person obviously standing out. Arsene Wenger? No. Van Hal. No. Van Hal? No. Uh, Ferguson? No. His most recent beef as a Premier League manager. That almost ended what? in... No. That almost ended in a Pep. physical altercation on the sideline. Pep. Wenger? No. He literally had a physical altercation with Wenger on the sideline. But this is more recent than that is what I mean. You. No. Antonio Conte? No. We are that was quite tough. Was it? Was that it? was really tough, actually. That was a really tough question. I mean, I'm calm about it, but it was really tough. <laughs> really, really tough. Uh, ra- <laughs> round three is the pride in the club round. Uh, the weather is shite and the days are short. It can only be peak club GEA season. In this round, I will give you the name of a club still involved in the championship. All you've got to do is tell me what county the club hails from. Question. Are you sure Pep wasn't? His, are you sure Mourinho wasn't his translator at Barcelona? No, he was, but he Would was have been his, his first. Which one is he first? Oh, you never said that. He did. Yeah, he did. His he first did. job. No, he did. He definitely did. Phil, the Ulster Intermediate Football Final. That was final. an hour ago, by the way. <laughs> Pizza uh, Galbali of Tyrone against Maher Clun of which county? Oh, this is bread and butter for a man who does bulletins for a living. <laughs> it's not, because it's... Unfortunately, I, I don't mean to dis-intermediate. Um, <laughs> But they, they wouldn't always make the bullet. Oof. So Oof. I'm wow. going to say County Down. No. Down. No. Monaghan. Oof. Shane Hannan's going to be angry at me. Very friend. angry. Very, very angry. Nathan. Mm. The Leinster Intermediate Hurling Final pits Tullerone of Kilkenny against Sarah Kieran of which county? What are they called? Sarah Kieran. Sarah Kieran. Sarah. S E I R. Have I got Sarah that right? Sarah Kieran. <laughs> Sarah Kieran. Sir Kieran, is it? Yeah. Sir Kieran. It's Sir Kieran. Is it one word or two words? Two words. Two words. Westmeath. Offaly. Correct. Well, how do you pronounce the first? Sir Kieran. Yeah, Sir, that's what I thought. <laughs> Sir Kieran from Offaly. I just Offaly. think, Adrian, you didn't go how to speech know? and drama. There's a reason, obviously, you know. Because <laughs> I know they're from Offaly. Yeah, like, you used to work for Midlands 103. It's pretty obvious. Uh, question three. Sir Kieran. Yeah, S E I R. Not Sarah Kieran. Sir Kieran. Where is it? Offaly. <laughs> Where in Offaly? County. <laughs> Never tell them more than more. Question three for you, Adrian. Or, I'd imagine. <laughs> the, the Leinster Junior Hurling Final pits Ballygarrett of Wexford against Conaghy Shamrocks of which county? Well, they're from Conaghy. Where, where were the first team from? <laughs> Wexford. So I can Wexford. just read those out. <laughs> so I Never down. Buzz. No, Never down. What was the competition again? Uh, Leinster Junior Hurling Final. Hurling. 
Leinster Junior Hurling Final, and not from Wexford, I'm going to say Connacht. Yeah. Um, I haven't a clue. Like Carlo? No. Loud? No. A hurling county in Leinster? Anyone? Ah, uh, but like I didn't think it'd be okay. that obvious. Till Kenny, correct. Really? I didn't think it'd be that obvious. I thought you'd be smarter than that. I didn't think Kenny would be allowed to play down junior down hurling. Huh? Down there. Surely they shouldn't be allowed to play junior hurling. Maybe they enter into the junior hurling championship outside of. Uh, oh, yeah, that's your point. That's but exactly my point. I looked at the fixtures and it's it certainly. a bit unfair. Well, I think everybody else needs to up their game, basically. Oh, and I'd calmly ask the through the chair if there's any merit in giving me the point that I correctly answered Nathan's. <laughs> just to ask the question. Yeah, why not? Yeah, go for it. No, let's not do that. Right. I, was, I was hoping to be That would be interesting again. if we could do a steal. We could yeah. do it, yeah. Steal is a good idea. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah, like, yeah like those the kids' games where you get, which causes havoc, so I get to go, <laughs> I'll take Phil's point, and then Phil feels some sort of... Yeah. Basically, a form of bullying. There's a major maybe. grudge yeah. that develops over time. <laughs> what, what more do we need for Crappy Quiz? <laughs> what bullying? We can do it for Christmas. Round four is the fun free magic number round. <laughs> bullying at Christmas. Contestants get three points for getting the number exactly right. If no one manages that, the nearest contestant who doesn't go bust gets two points. The second closest gets one point. I'm going to state that we can only accept the answer that's written on your paper. I'm also going to have to ask for your pens once the music ends. So if you don't mind, give us the following number. The number of times Jose Mourinho has won the Champions League as a manager plus the number of years old Troy Parrott is, plus the number of goals scored by Ireland in total in their Euro 2020 qualifying group, plus the number of goals conceded by Ireland in their Euro 2020 qualifying group. Your 30 seconds expires when Sinatra sings bright shiny beads. So how many times as manager has Jose won the Champions League? Plus how, <coughs> how old is Troy Parrott, excuse me, plus the number of goals scored by Ireland in the Euro 2020 qualifying group and then the same question but how many have they conceded everybody has finished very early this might be the easiest magic number round fun free magic number round of all time Adrian what do you got? 39 39 Nathan? 31 31 Phil? 34 31 is the correct answer boom Oof. Nailed it and they all went Straight bust away. I've overshot the round that was the way. easiest one I, we've ever gone through I, I know where I went wrong I, right. I, I thought we conceded a lot more than we did. We conceded five? Yeah. Oh. How many did we score? Seven. How old is Troy Parrott? 17. And how many times has Josie won the Champions Two. League? Two. Two. Yeah, it was very, very easy Boom. in fairness. 31 is the correct answer. That brings Nathan to four. Philly round one. Adrian, you're stuck on a big fat <laughs> zero. Zero. No? Zero. Mm -hmm. Do you want to get a point for being zero. Zero. <laughs> zero. If you're under, you Oh my have. God. You're going to end with the dreaded minus points. To be fair, would you think my questions were, to calmly through the chair, were my questions quite difficult? Oh. Either were. What was your first question? Well, quite Colchester was easy. Yeah, Colchester was, that was easy. Was Come on. That was quite difficult. Come on, Troy Parrott. The boy wonders, played one game, you don't know who it is. We knew. Like, You're we, going to go on no, tomorrow morning to and talk fair, about football. To be fair, that Come was on. quite difficult. That was quite difficult. On to the final. Calmly through the chair, they were all quite difficult. It's hard to believe that you could be more of an asshole, but <laughs> this version of Parrott is just that. <laughs> Our winner tonight will be decided in the round that separates the men from the boys, the Stephen Kennys from the Stone Cold Stephen Austins. It's an old theme in particular, a ridiculously easy rapid fire round. The score you get in this round will be added to your score in the previous round. There Is there a quicker judgment you make of a person's personality than when you're at a meeting and somebody says, through the chair? I've never heard that phrase once in my life. Well, you literally heard it there about 10 minutes ago. You really are more of an asshole in this <laughs> form, aren't you? I'm just trying to be calm and collected What does through the chair mean? Like through the chair it's person? Respect yeah. that you don't, so it means myself and Phil couldn't get into a row because we have to go through the chair. Yeah. <laughs> but I was, I was hoping to see a meeting like it's that. It's kind of like, tell your friend. Yeah. <laughs> Someone will end up through Owen, the chair. Owen just had another guy get you there, but he, you missed it. Uh, no, me? it wasn't. It was at Mayo in general. I was hoping to see a meeting a couple of weeks ago. Am I right? Fellas, and well, the score you get in this round. At least one of us eventually came up with what happened in the meeting. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> the score you get in this round will be added to your score in the previous round, and there will be 40 seconds for everyone to answer from the same set of questions. We're going to start with the person with the highest number of points, which is Nathan, then onto the person with the second highest number of points, that is you, Phil, uh, and then onto the person in last, that is you, uh, Adrian. Um, if you get a question correct, I'll ask another question. Keep asking you questions until you get one wrong. Once you get a question wrong and move on to the next person and your incorrect okay. answer also means a deduction. It's an open goal, this really, Bottle. isn't it? Open goal. Because, <coughs> you know. All right, Nathan, Nathan, you ready? Always. <laughs> your time starts with an Adrian Barry. No, that's bollocks. No, that's yeah. bollocks. Bryce Harper is associated with which sport? Golf. No, baseball. Who won the last golf major uh, of this year, Phil? Um, <laughs> oh, 
Not come on, come pass. on. Uh, uh, Shane Lowry. Which club does Carlo Ancelotti manage, uh, Adrian? Uh, AC Milan. <laughs> no, Napoli. <laughs> Which course will host the Irish Open next year? By Juliet. Correct. Which club does Johnny Cooper play for? Nafida, no. Javier Hernandez plays for which club now? You're, you're right. Um, oh, he's uh, like... Oh, it's a VA. Who are reigning All-Ireland Club hurling champions? Valdi has Shamrocks. Correct. Who scored the most goals in the Premier League so far this season? Uh, Jamie Vardy. Who scored a hat-trick for Leinster last weekend? Uh, Gary Reynolds. Correct. Name the Cork GA Intercounty jersey sponsor. Chill. Correct. Ooh. How are we doing there, JP? No, I think I won by one. Adrian one. Barry's got minus one. Yes, minus. Nathan's on four. Phil's also oh. on four. We got a tie. Oh, tie. <laughs> <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. Back up. Back up. So I started on three. I got yeah. one wrong. So then I went to two. Two. Then I got three questions in a row, right? On four. So you went down to three. Okay. And then I got two, you three got questions it. right. Yeah, so you went up to six. six. And then I went no, down. You didn't one. get three right. You didn't get three right. You got Mount you got Mount Juliet. Yeah, and you got Nafina, you got the Sevilla wrong. So you got two right. Um <sighs> so three, yeah. but, but but Phil started on one. One, went down to zero. Mm -hmm. And yeah. then you didn't get four in a row I there. Did. Three yeah. in a row. I did. One, I did. He did. He got Pally Haley, got Jamie Ferry, he got Gary Ringrose, and he yeah. got Chill Insurance. Ah, this is just accepted. Now he's, now he's changed tag. That didn't work, so let's change tag. Boris right. Johnson here. As I said, the Cork sponsor would say, just chill, yeah? <laughs> this is the How Many Irish Cups tiebreakers to decide who wins this week's. Uh, oh, I'm terrible at this. Crappy quiz. So, uh, the person who wins the coin toss gets to choose if he wants to go first or second. Contestants cannot pick the same number. So, we toss the coin earlier on. Phil versus Nathan. It's Phil. Oh, right. actually you actually say anything about that on your... Yeah, it does. It says it here. Yeah. I'll, I'll you didn't toss a coin earlier. It says you it here. Just made that up. I think he just makes that line up and then randomly yeah. picks somebody. Which is, I'll say let Nathan go first. Correct answer, actually. Uh, Nathan, how many Ireland <laughs> caps... question is. <laughs> how many Ireland caps does Lee Garsley have? Ooh, 39. Phil? 38. No, it's 14. Oh, yes! Yeah! So long! <laughs> what a win. Oh, oh. How do you feel? Welcome back to the quiz. It's been like two months since you've been oh, on. But still a champ, you know? Still got the summer tan, it's still got the away, quality. But you're linear yeah. champ, are you? Exactly, yeah. Mm -hmm. All that. Well, congratulations Same to Nathan Murphy. Champ. Thanks for taking part, Phil. Unlucky. And thanks for taking part, Adrian. Unlucky. Lee Carsey of all yeah. people, like my, you know, my hero. <laughs> yeah. Him and Thomas Gravison. Yeah. Yeah. I really enjoyed that quiz. It was the most enjoyable. Well, you embarrassed thanks yourself. For, thanks for hosting. Minus well, one. Well done. You thanks did, for hosting. You didn't get one question yeah, right in the entire quiz. And, and Nathan, well done. Congratulations on your win. I'm just pleased for everybody. He caught one of your questions. Jeffrey, right. you did a great job. Well done, John and Emma. Everybody. Fantastic. It really was. Thank you very much for your positivity. That is it for the crappy quiz for this that. week. We'll be back on YouTube well this time next week. More good stuff coming up on the radio next.